Hey YouTube. So today we have a 2013 Maserati Gran Turismo. Beautiful car. I bought it, I don't know, about four years ago. I had the previous model to this one, which was a 2009 model. Uh, it was a limited edition. The only difference between this one and that one was obviously that front end. Uh, the model changed. I believe in 2013 is when the, the new model came out and you got you were able to get that newer uh the newer uh bumper the newer front end also the interior uh became a little different uh between 2008 when this model first launched uh it's been the same car pretty much all throughout <clears throat> the years until 2018 i believe is when the newer model came out which the only difference was that was made was the front end the interior and of course, one other thing, which is what I'm gonna talk about uh, in 2018, otherwise 10 years uh, since 2008, the body style really never changed. It's an excellent car, I love it, it sounds amazing. It does what no other car has done for me in terms of feeling, in terms of driving ability, or I should say just overall driving experience, I mean, I don't care what any man says. You can drive whatever you want. You can buy any BMW just like that one. You can buy an S500, which I've had, or I had Mercedes, I've had Lexus, I've had everything. And there's really nothing else out there. Uh, if you can afford one of these, they're not cheap. Uh, I paid probably a hundred grand for this one. Uh, they're worth about 180 brand new. I believe it depends on what options you get in there. However, it's a beautiful car. It's worth every penny. So if you could afford it for every guy out there, I would say go for it. Don't think twice. What this car does for you is breathtaking. I mean, there's really there's really no other car that can that can that can take care of you like a car like this. I mean, I, I love it. However, enough about that. Uh the, the reason I'm doing this video is because for so many years this car has been the same. And Maserati tends to have a burden, and we're not the I'm not the only one who dis, who agrees. Uh, a lot of people out there have been complaining that their number one thing I'll show you is that you get a beautiful interior. I mean, I have the red stitching in here. I have everything. I have the mats with the Maserati logos. I have the brighteners <clears throat> here, the cup holders beautiful car i got maybe forty thousand miles i think 39 or something like that uh 30 35 000. this is the problem right here so let me show you guys what i mean the info state the infotainment system is terrible in this car uh very outdated it's been like this for a very long time maserati never had the guts to come up with anything better. I mean, these dials are completely outdated. Uh, the uh, climate control is completely outdated. Let me fire this thing up. Uh, this thing here is what you'll find in a 2005 Toyota Corolla. Uh, I mean, not the actual same one, but you know, it's just very outdated is my point. So, what I decided to do is I went ahead and got with Robin at Cayman Spider. I believe it's what it is, Cayman Spider. You can look him up on YouTube. I'm not sponsored by him. I'm not his friend. Uh, all I did was, uh, you know, Google a, a radio, a newer radio system to see if Maserati had anything out. Uh, by the way, in 2018, they did decide to go with the newer screen and the newer infotainment system, uh, but not until 2018. So if you are like me and you've had this thing uh, for years, the only thing, the only downside has always been for me, that has always been for me, is this freaking radio. Uh, I mean, people get in here, it's a beautiful car, they look at the radio and they say, what is this? It's like, hey, that's what Maserati's doing. They claim it's pride of ownership, they claim that... that this is all about Maserati that if you want something better you want backup cams you want all these gadgets in the radio you want touch screens and go buy yourself a Mercedes uh, Maserati doesn't go for that however they've been getting so many so much criticism throughout the years that they decided in 2018 to actually do something about it 
and that's when they decided to do the touchscreen. I believe it's touchscreen. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it, but it's it is an, a nicer info, infotainment system. Uh, it, it's much better than this one. And I'm not sure if they came out with the newer climate control, but it's a much nicer one. So anyhow, my point is this: uh, I ordered a whole new system for this thing. Uh, it's a it's a aftermarket. Uh, it's from. I, you know what I'm not sh even sure where it's coming from but it's a it's a beautiful system and I just received it yesterday um, I saw Cayman spiders videos online I checked it out on YouTube I reached out to him directly and he is a third party uh, if you want to buy one of these things you got to go through him my understanding uh, email him message him let him know so this part of the video I wanted to show you what my problem is uh, this is probably the last time I'll see this because I'm getting ready to take this car apart and put a whole new system in here, which is not an actual system, but a new radio, touchscreen, beautiful. Uh, with the, I went ahead and purchased the, the climate control as well. It's all touchscreen. Uh, my understanding is that it's all plug and play. Uh, the original harnesses plug into this device. Uh, there's nothing you got to be cutting out and, and it's not like you're going to a stereo shop and they're going to put an Alpine in here or anything like that. This is actually designed for Maserati uh, and it substitutes what Maserati came up with in 2018. So this is it. Uh, this is the video for now. This is I'm going to name this part one. Uh, I wanted you guys to see what my problem is. Uh, and then after this, you will see what I did about my problem because I hate having problems. So, this is it. I will upload a second video to this and you will see what it looks like right after that. Right, so stay tuned.